<laughs> Meat bicycle. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to some more Commander Lilith and the uh, Fight for Sanctuary DLC farming um, here on Borderlands 2. So this is just going to be a real short little series I'm going to do. We don't know how many episodes of it. It's going to be about three or four, maybe five. We'll see, uh, depending on ideas. Um, basically, now, as you can see on the screen, we are overpower 10. Obviously, all our gear was overpower 8 for a long, long time. So I thought, do you know what? While uh, the DLC is fresh and new, we'll go in and we'll do some farming and see what items we can get. Uh, overpower 10 so uh, I'm not going to go into the normal game things like that I'm literally just going to stick to the DLC go to the various different loot sources uh, I'm going to be starting off today in the Dahl Abandon I'm going to be using the uh, little loot midget glitch where you don't pick up the uh, the mission item so you can farm that loot midget we're also going to be farming a few sandworms as well for uh, hopefully uh, toothpicks and uh, retainers things like that um, next episode I think we'll do some loot nest farming uh, over there we'll also uh, try and farm for the nirvana bad of saplings if we can um we'll probably go to uranus at some point we'll go to that guy in the um, research center i forgot his name already um and yeah maybe see how the raid boss goes because uh, i'm not massively confident at farming him at overpower 10 uh, and obviously the point of this is to go overpower 10 we'll see We'll see. If we're going to do it, we'll make that last episode. So yeah, I'm just going to spend uh, 20 minutes, half an hour, we'll see, just farming this area right here. And we'll just get a list going of all our um, items that we can get. So uh, an overpower 10 loot midget should be pretty good. Uh, like I said, we'll take on sandworms as well, see if we can get any effervescence. Um, not going to kill everyone all the time, but uh, these guys do have a little chance to drop them now and again. So we'll go ahead and make sure that we just pick up what we can i think there's about four sandworms so there's a, a an okay chance at an effervescent so yeah i just thought it was a good idea for a, uh, a little series um like i said dlc is new we've got most of the video well, all the videos done that i wanted to cover and things like that so it's a bit of a shame to just uh, straight away go back to uh, normal series and things like that so we're going to go ahead and do some uh, do some overpower 10 loot farming and uh, like i said i will get a little list going uh, so we can just keep track of what we've got so far and just put that up at the end of the episode. Uh, so I've just got to make sure that I don't actually pick up that item over there because that will end it all. Then again, I can just go and reset the uh, the mission. Um, these loot midgets aren't dropping amazingly. Um, but it's such a quick farm. Hopefully it won't take too long to get something good. Is that it for sandworms? No, there's a sandworm there. I'm about to go down, I think. No, I'm okay for now. No, I am down. Doesn't matter though, because we've done what we wanted to do. It's just good being back farming. It's just so weird that raising the level cap to uh, to overpower 10 just creates so much more uh, opportunities to farm. And uh, there's nothing better than an excuse to farm weapons. I like doing it anyway, even though I had everything before, but now I can go ahead and get them all again, brand new and fresh, which is good. So what is our first item going to be? I'm going to say it's going to be a legendary class mod, because that seems to be what I always get from loot midgets. Like I said, we are looking for an effervescent as well if we can. I've got a feeling I'm going to sneeze in a minute, so I might have to make an emergency mute of the mic so you guys don't hear it right down the microphone. Is it coming? I don't know. Oh, no, I'm going to, uh, I think I'm okay. Right, about five minutes in already. Let's get going then. We need some items. I'm hoping for two to three items today. Be nice to get two legendaries and an effervescent. That would be the uh, the dream. He, this guy here is not wanting to drop anything for me though. Hopefully the sandworms will be kind. And I'm down, but hopefully I can get back up off this guy. There we go. Yeah, it's definitely worth doing. Like uh, you've seen in a guide that I've done though, if you want a toothpick or a retainer, it's just much quicker to do that 
mission, the recruits mission, where you uh, farm queen sandworms in burrows because you can get one, maybe two, uh, in the same run. But it's read-only farms, which uh, is all right on PC. Dashboarding on console, uh, well, not dashboarding, uh, turning your console off every time that could get pretty annoying. So it's definitely an advantage to have a PC for read-only farming. It's uh, helped me no end of times. In fact, the pre-sequel I used it a lot. Uh, don't know why I went for that guy then. That is why. Woo! First item. Let's just take the rest of the sand, uh, sand worms down. So, ah, I knew you hadn't really gone. We've got a toothpick. It best be OP10 as well. Let's just get these guys down so they don't screw us. Actually, I'll just set a Goliath off. Beautiful. Overpow 10 toothpick. First effervescent. First drop as well. I was wrong. I thought I'd get a, uh, a legendary class mod from that. Right, let's get going then. Let's you never know, we might be able to get a retainer from this. And then that'll be it for farming sandworms. I can just focus purely on the loot midget then. That was a hell of a jump. Probably better off using a fire north lead than the uh, shock one to be honest. I might swap that up and see if it makes a bit of a difference. Hmm. Oh, that was not clever. Oh, wow, blooming hell, my luck is amazing. These are supposed to be a hard chance of getting them, and I've just got two in two runs. Right, let's add that to the list then, retainer. And like I said, now we can just flat out go for the loot midget who needs to start dropping things. I did do a little video on this um, not long ago about being the fastest loot midget farm and I'll be honest I think I got like three or four drops on camera for that um, guide. It took me about an hour <laughs> to get him to drop four things and they weren't even brilliant drops. I think two of them were class mods. I said I was whoa ho wow I went off then it's got more Bone of the Ancients rubbish. Nothing else flew out then. Should I try swap into a Fire North Fleet if I've got one? Uh, yes, I have. <coughs> it should uh, should kill them better. They're all human enemies in this area, or obviously sandworms. I think they're not armoured or out, so they should be weak to fire. Not that the sandworms matter now though, because... Oh, you don't normally appear there. Let's see if this is any better. Well, I think he's dead. Nothing on the floor though. That seemed to have worked a lot better though. Don't think any of the enemies in that area are really heavily shielded. Apart from maybe your marauders. Well, you've got your grave robbers as well. No man's goliaths, yeah. I don't know what I'm talking about, but we're not killing them. I don't think the loot midget's shielded, though. There's a goliath right next to me, though. That is not good. Is he down? He is down. And he's still not dropping anything. Don't you dare. Nope, this guy is being tight with his drops. But I can't complain. Two effervescents already. Both at overpower 10. That is nice. <coughs> Hopefully the loot nest will be a bit more generous next episode. But like I said, we're going to start off slow. Because I mean, we could just go to Uranus right now. And he's like a guaranteed drop every single time. Oh, got a legendary. Told you it'd be a class mod. The legendary hunter class mod. Very nice. Uh, I'm not picking that up because it's not for me. And I'm full. So I might want to have a little bit of a clear out. Yeah, let's do that soon. 
think there's some vendors next to me. I could sell some stuff. I want to make sure that uh, we can pick things up. No. Right. What can we get rid of? Have we got anything? Well, we don't want that for a start. Don't know how that got in there. Titan Berserker, Gunzerker, Berserker. We've got two Berserkers. 47, 55, 33. Yeah, that'll do. Any rubbish grenade? We've got two retainers. One at level 80. These are all 80, 80, 80, 80, 80. That'll do for now. Right. Come on. That's one drop from him. I want, oh no, there's a rat. I want a couple more. Decent weapon or something. Oh, he's still alive. I did not hit that one very well at all. And I put myself down. How did that little lunatic survive Northfleet shots like that? Right. We are about 11 minutes in, so I'm go I was thinking, do I make this 20 minutes or do I make it 30? I think 30 is a bit too much. We'll keep it to about 20. 15, 20 minutes, I think. That should give us a very decent amount of runs. That Marauder, you are stood in the wrong place. Because now you're going to die, and you're going to die fast. And so am I. Right, we are back. Two more items. That's my aim for today. Because I don't know how good the loot nest farms are going to be. Again, just like with this, I did a video guide on the uh, loot nests and they, their drop rates were not amazing. Just getting relics. <coughs> it was fun though. What wasn't fun was farming for the Nirvana. I don't expect to see that drop and we're not going to go looking for badass saplings because you've got to kill loads of mobs in the same area. I do know at the end though, um, in near the last loot nest, there is a big guy that drops down. Once you kill him, um, saplings do start spawning and one of them nearly every time is a badass. So we'll farm that one. I don't know what's just dropped so let's go ahead and try and get back up. I've got no ammo. Crap. Should be alright. Oh, that was close. Uh, it was just an ancient relic. Damn. Come on, loot midgets. This is certainly a lot quicker than uh, Wildlife Exploitation Preserve, though. That was such a long run. It was fun. Uh, the rocket jumping. Gunzerka shortcut way was fun, just glitching in and out of the map in certain areas, stuff like that. But it was one of them annoying things where you could mess it up if you want, you know. Just one wrong move and you're dead, and then you've got stuck at a wall and you run out of Gunzerk, you've got to wait for it to come back to get out, and if your Gunzerk ran out in a certain place, you'd have to just run normally. Very, very, very fun, like I said, but uh, it's a long run. This much quicker like every 30 seconds you can farm rather than four every two three minutes I will say though that the uh, the gunzerker uh, the loot midgets in wildlife exploitation preserve especially with doctor's orders on have a much higher chance of dropping things because this guy right here does not have I got doctor's orders still on this account? I know it's not going to make a difference, but I'm interested to see if, yes I have, if I turn that on, does this work for all loot midges? Or just the ones in web? It's interesting. Let's see if we start getting a bit, I know it's complete RNG speculation, but let's just see if that makes a difference. I mean, that run didn't, but maybe overall it could do something. I don't know. It's definitely worth having on anyway, just in case. 
Right, we've got about five minutes left, and we haven't seen anything for a while, so let's hope our luck changes a bit here. Wow, he tanks them shots pretty well. I'm about to go down by one in. No, I don't. Yeah, I don't think it's made a difference. Then again, every four times you farm him, it's like one farm at the uh, Wildlife Exploitation Preserve. And if you think about that, you didn't get a guaranteed drop in, in four loot midgets every time. So I'd say you'd probably expect something every ten farms of this guy, maybe. I'm certainly not getting that, I don't think, but... Right, there we go, that's a better way to kill him. Still nothing. I mean, three items so far. Can't complain at that. I'd like it to be five, though. I suppose what we don't get here will sure make up for when we get to uh, Uranus Bot. That guy is crazy. I have not farmed him at Overpower 10 yet either, I don't think. So I'd be interested to see what what he's like at Overpower 10. And I've run out of ammo again at the wrong time. That's a scavenger, so I'm going to focus on that sandworm. Nothing again, apart from a class mod. Come on, loot midgets. A loot midget. One legendary and one pearl. That would be nice to finish on. I have not seen a pearl from a loot midget in a long time. Boom. Dead now. Come on, that's a good amount of stuff flying out of him then, but nothing but a relic again. Oh, <coughs> not long. I'm just tempted to go past the 20 minute mark if we don't get out, just till we get one more drop. We'll say that. It's 20 minutes or one more drop, and then we'll end. <laughs> Welcome to a two and a half hour episode. Where I get nothing for the next two, two hours and ten minutes. Well, I should have got him down. Well, it may be the fastest loot midget farm, but it's certainly not the uh, certainly not the most successful. They must have known, really, about how quick this could be. Maybe they turned the drops right down on them. I don't know. Surely they didn't put, a, you know, a loot midget here and then go, actually, we'll have this really high drop rate for him. Makes you wonder. Also pretty tempted to, uh, to go and farm the lieutenant guy as well. Get an overpower 10, um... I can't remember the name of it now, that effervescent rocket launcher. I'm really forgetting names of all these new stuff, I've got to learn them. Anyway, the guy that's over there. Bolson, I think his name is. Wow. What is wrong with this guy? We'll see, I might feature the, uh, the lieutenants in... Uh, in an episode because when we go to uh, Scarab Research Center we have to run past the uh, one of the lieutenants that drops that sniper rifle so uh, I might include that into our farm and if we get that then we'll come back here and get the uh, yeah we'll come back and get the, uh, the launcher Ooh, well it looks like it's one more drop then we've got about 40 seconds left before the deadline so not the most successful start but like I said I picked this guy first because I knew it wasn't going to be an amazing farm the sandworms really came up clutch today though what a good set of dudes there we go we've got one finally grenade stormfront woohoo Right, well that's four. 
So, I'm going to go and farm this guy. I know I said 20 minutes, but who cares. I'm going to go farm this guy and just try my luck with him. Really try my luck with him. It might not be amazing. I probably should have waited for Gunzerk to come back. But if we can add this to our, our list of uh, drops today, that would be pretty good. I'm going to go for two two runs of this guy. Where am I going? I can't. I haven't unlocked it yet on this account. Damn it, I forgot I ain't done many of the side missions on this. Um, oh, well, I'm not locked into a certain character, am I? Um, so, we're going to go for this guy. And then we're going to go for Overpower 10, yes. And I've uh, just done a Speed Farm 101 guide on Wilhelm. Spoilers. Um, so, I'm in Tundra. Let's go to the back burner. No, don't abandon. Flamethrower dude. Why do I always do that? So I can't farm the loot midget with this character because I've already completed all of the missions in this DLC. Ah, that guy always gets me. I nearly run into him every time. But I can farm this guy. I forgot his name. It's, it is Bolsa, I'm sure it is. Or is that the fourth guy? We'll soon see. There he is. Yeah, it is Bolsa. Ooh, I've missed every single shot then. I was going to say, I haven't farmed him at overpower 10 yet. He's pretty tough at overpower 10, actually. I can't see what he's doing, so we are going to go down here, I think. I haven't even got his shield off yet. Oh, I could do with you coming back. No, I'm going to die. Damn it. Um, yeah, well, that was not a good idea. Should we try this again? Looks like we're going to go for one run, not two. Wow, the difference between him at normal level and overpower 10 is unreal. Come on. I probably just shouldn't have gone in all uh, all guns blazing then. Just, it's hard to see him as well because he literally just fires flames at you. Let's try this again. Let's try and be a bit smarter about it. Let's try and get his shield off first for a start. What? Have I got a North Lee on? Yes. Just in case. Right, it's going to be different this time, mate. I can guarantee it. That's a bit better to start with your shield. Yeah, see, he's, he's all shield. He is literally all shield. I'm tempted to go in for one more run then. Screw it. We're having fun with farming. Um, next episode, we'll probably start off farming this guy if we don't get it in the next run then. And then we'll go to the loot nest. Hopefully this doesn't take too long. When I was doing the guide on it, um, I think it took me about 10 runs. So, still quite a long time, but... Oh, he got me again. Always gets me. Go away. He's only took my vehicle down as well. Right, hopefully we can get a better sand art shot on him this time as well. Where are you? That's better. No, it's not. Wow, yeah, down, just like that. I need someone to come up. Here we go. Ah. Yeah, we're just getting fired to hell here. I can't get away from him either. Damn, this guy's tough. If you do not take his shield down. I need health. I need health. Wow, he's just flamethrowing the crap out of me. He's nearly down though. We can get him here. Boom. Down he goes. There we go. We've got it. That was worth doing. Now I just need to make sure I don't die. Effervescent number three. Overpower ten. Let's see what it's like. I just need you to go away first. Beautiful. The world burn. That's it. Let's pick it up quickly before we go down. Whew. Yep, there you go. 
Anyway, guys, there you go. A little bit over what I said, but that's 25 minutes. That's not bad. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's episode one of our Overpower 10 uh, loot farm in the DLC. Hope you like it. It's a lot of fun, really. Just a few farming episodes, and then we'll, uh, obviously we'll get back on with other videos. I have started recording um, another episode of the Legendary Run. Got an old Melee Zero playthrough to upload before I start carrying on with them. Um, speed farm episodes coming um, back to Borderlands, so don't worry about that. All my old series will be returning, but a few episodes of this first. So uh, look forward to that. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. We hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.